What's up guys, Matt the Riffmaster here. Today we're going to be discussing the way that I hold my guitar pick. So guys, today, yes, I'm going to be sharing with all of you amazing people how I hold my guitar pick when I'm doing all my lovely, chuggy, riffy goodness. Because it comes up a lot. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how I hold my pick. And I've noticed that things have been a bit different lately. So I'll give you a quick backstory and, and, where, and then where we are today with my pick holding stuff. So, as a lot of you do know, um, for a long time now I've been using, well, pretty much since I started, is the, the three-finger technique, you know, the three-finger technique. If we go B-cam here, we'll show you, like so, similar to this. So, you've got, <laughs> like the two fingers, but you use this one, this finger, and you hold it as well, and that gives you the three-finger technique, as a lot of us know. The man himself, Mr. James Hetfield, uses that technique. It's a great technique. You get a lot of stability when holding the pick, and you also get a lot of attack as well. So it works. It's great. But I did a video a long time ago discussing whether or not it's possible to change the way you hold your pick after doing it one way for so many years. So from that video, I, uh, I changed things up a little bit to see, to see you know, what, what the deal was, if it was possible. So I went from the three finger technique, <laughs> this sounds very, very rude, from three fingers, I just went to the kind of traditional index finger and thumb kind of thing, you know, kind of like this, yeah, we hold it like this, like that, just like that, like this, like that. Um, and I was doing that for a while, and yeah, it worked. Um, it was a different feel. It took some time to get used to it because you think you've been so comfortable doing it one way When you go to a different way, it's new so you kind of almost have to relearn But I had a lot of fun with it. It was it was new and exciting So I was doing that for a long time Occasionally I'd go back to the three finger technique as well just for certain songs I think certain songs just really needed that extra grip extra stability for all the the gallopy chuggy wuggy Da, 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 da stuff. Um, so I went back to that, but recently I've been kind of changing up a little bit more. And I think I'm kind of where I'm at with it. It's comfortable because it gives me two ways of holding it. And they're, they're both extremely comfortable for me. And it kind of covers all bases of what I do and what I play on guitar. And it's easy to switch between the two, kind of like in between playing, which is really cool. So that's, that's the brief history of my pick holding skills, uh, technique should I say, and here's where we are today. So some of the times, you know, I'll be using the, you know, thumb and index finger, just like that. Just for certain things, it, it works, it feels comfortable. But lately, I've been uh, kind of moving my hands around and stuff, and I found a way that still gives me that attack of the three finger stability but it's different, but for me it kind of feels really comfortable because it allows me to switch between that and then the, the traditional thumb and index finger technique. So again, from here, so you know your traditional kind of vibe, but then if you take the three finger technique here, but just remove this finger, <laughs> so, so then you've got um, just your index finger and your thumb again, but you're pinching it, not, you know, you've got a little bit of tip showing, just a little bit of tip. It's, it's, I like it because then I can switch from this when I've got to do the gallopy hard, gallopy stuff to this for some other stuff where this feels more comfortable. So those two ways work great together and it kind of covers everything I do on the guitar. Like I said, from the gallopy hard attacky stuff to the not so gallopy hard attacky stuff and I mean I've been doing it like that a lot recently I've been jamming a lot more than I usually do and just just to get used to it and I'm telling you it's it's easy to switch and it, it's comfortable I know I don't really think about it anymore because um, there's certain things that I like to play where just that three finger technique just didn't 
didn't it just didn't feel comfortable for certain things so now changing it up and having best of both worlds and like i said it's easy to change between the two so i will just go b cam and i'll show you one more time so we'll go from here yeah to here here to here it's it's just one of those things you kind of adjust it without even thinking about it it kind of just happens and if you have to change it up in the middle of a song it just happens at that right moment where there's a small little pause and you can quickly readjust and it just works and yeah I'm really enjoying it I, I feel just as comfortable uh, with this technique than I did with the three finger technique which I've been using since I started playing guitar like 13 years ago or whatever very long time ago so it was exciting it's always good to try something new new techniques and uh, yeah so I guess to answer my own question back then with that video is it possible to change the way you hold your pick uh, yes yes at first it's a little bit different it's a little bit you feel a little bit unsafe you feel like you're starting to learn all over again but once you get into it it's just muscle memory it kind of just it just just sticks with you and uh, that is my 2019 uh, way of holding my pick I mean I'm not going to be changing the way I hold my pick every year I'd be stupid but I think this technique is going to be the one I'm going to go with moving forward from this day and yeah it just it feels good when I'm playing whatever I'm playing if I'm doing some strummy stuff or some gallopy ga 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 stuff um just feels comfortable all around, which is what we love. You want to feel comfortable when playing guitar to be performing to the best of your abilities. So now I've shown you uh, how I, you know, how I use, how I hold my pick and my, my new technique. Let me just give you a quick tip on how you can get comfortable with holding your pick. So when you're not even playing guitar, okay, or wait, we've always got a guitar pick on us. Just hold your pick the way you would hold it um, and just, I don't know, air guitar. You know, but just hold it, you know, grip it and just do that for, for like an hour or something throughout your day. Even when you're doing stuff, just hold your pick and it's just going to it's going to be the whole muscle memory thing. Your your fingers are going to feel get more comfortable in that position and holding the pick. So when it comes to playing, you're going to be a lot more comfy holding your pick and you're not going to lose it. Because we all know when you play and you kind of start to lose the pick and it fucks off somewhere. It's never good. So give that a try. So guys, there you go. That is how I hold my guitar pick. Let me know down below in the comments how you hold your picks. If you've changed it recently, if you're thinking of changing the way you, you know, hold your pick, or if you're just a diehard one that just sticks with it the same way, which is cool. Uh, let us know, guys. And uh, yeah, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go follow me on Instagram. And as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very soon. Have a pick. See ya.